What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mega Rose here, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting and responding to my subscribers' confessions. So I went on Instagram. I let my followers know that I'm going to be doing a reaction to my subscribers' confessions. Now, let's get right into this video. On, okay <laughs> because um i need to see this all right do you find this weird i am a straight girl but i'm attracted to gay guys i know it's pointless but i am you're a straight girl that's attracted to gay guys well that's that's kind of well i'm not gonna say weird because that's like it well you know this is a judgment free zone but I never really heard of anybody saying that they was a straight girl attracted to gay guys. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay, that's different. That's really different. Um, I'm confused as to, like, what you're attracted to. Like, are you sure you're not attracted to females? Like, are you attracted to a gay guy's feminine side? Are you attracted to, like, what are you attracted to? That's kind of different. Like, um, I don't know. I mean, to each his own, because there's a whole lot of sexual, you know, transsexual, pansexual, bisexual. I know there's a whole lot of that going on anyway, but, um, you know, so, I mean, to each his own. So, but some of the people, they was just, you know, playing, joking around, but some of y'all are really putting some good-ass confessions, and I'm just like, woo, child. I didn't really get to read all of them, but I definitely was skimming through. I recently caught my girl masturbating in the shower. Normally, I don't care, but it was just the fact that she told me she didn't want to have sex. I didn't tell her I heard her moaning, and it actually got me hard <laughs> listening to her moan. I was just kind of annoyed at the fact that she denied me sex but still went to go masturbate. I'm thinking of buying a recorder so I can know when she does it. Um, <laughs> not buying a recorder to see when she's doing it. Uh, like, oh yeah, he's feeling it. Okay, because I want to see how often she does things like this. Um, okay, so I guess it's turning him on. I want to see how often she does stuff like this. Then I don't think I don't believe that she would cheat. But should I let her know that this bothers me? So this is less of a conf this is less of a conf well this is a confession but it's more of like what would you do type of situation. So um in a situation like that, damn, I can imagine like I'm just asking for sex and then like he's just like no, but I over here I'm just masturbating and just jerking just, just jerking away. Um, in that case I would probably just ask like you know like what's up what's the tea like why are you obviously in the mood but you're not in the mood for me like are you not feeling me like is masturbation feeling bomber to me like i don't know like i wouldn't be like i wouldn't really be feeling that because honestly i, I don't really care if my partner was to masturbate or anything like that like that's normal like who am i to be like oh don't masturbate like everyone does it okay and if you don't you better you better start okay but um i don't know how i will feel if i'm asking for the sex and you're not giving it to me but you go right there and masturbate yeah that's a little bit of a problem mm -hmm. but I just wanted to say that I'm losing it. I'm dying to have some bomb sex. This quarantine is really just ruining my chances of having a great fuck session. <laughs> what? I kind of feel you though with that one, bro, because I swear, like, with this quarantine, like, it just really fucked up the streets. It's fucking the game up. Like, ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is kind of crazy, but I feel you. I feel you. Like, I mean, get, get your jerk off on, okay? Like, it's clearly it's clearly getting somebody where they gotta go out here so i mean i know you you're down for a bomb fuck because honestly i don't feel like masturbation could ever take the place of a bomb a bomb screwing but um i kind of feel you on that okay i guess this um confession is like a throwback confession they said i farted really loud in school i mean in class everyone looked at me you need to stop farting like that's so childish me and i i became really anxious and I left out the class. I left out the class because it was awkward. And afterward, the rumor was that I shitted on myself. <laughs> well, you know, what made it worse was that I made a joke to a friend telling him that I'm gonna kill myself over it. And I had to go to the office. 
And I had to go to the office and basically let them know that I'm not going to commit suicide. Yo, that's not funny. Nothing about committing suicide is funny at all. So don't think I'm laughing at that part. I'm just laughing at the part where it's like you farted really loud. Like, oh my God, that is so freaking embarrassing. I kind of feel like I did that before. Well, I'm out, man. That's fucked up. Like, then it got that deep. Like, it got to the point that you had to go to the goddamn principal's office because... It just, like, you know what I'm saying? Now they got to be a principal, no, you fired in class. Like, you know? I feel like I attract losers because I am a loser. Damn. Okay? Don't be so hard on yourself, baby, okay? <laughs> like, what am I, Trump lover? Y'all see what the fuck I be going through half the goddamn time. But, um, that is, I, I feel you on that confessional because sometimes it do be having you, like, thinking, like, am I a goddamn loser? Like, why am I attracting them? Because they say you are what you attract or you are what you eat, whatever the fuck. But I don't know, like, I don't, I can't say that you are a loser because that's just crazy as fuck. I, I would have to say I'm a goddamn loser, okay? Because, uh, uh, child ain't married, okay? So, um, <laughs> something's going on on this, on this side. But, um, I don't know. Like, I kind of definitely feel you on that confession because sometimes it do be having you, like, like, what's the tea on me? Like, is something wrong with me? Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, am I a loser? But don't be so hard on yourself, girl. Like, don't even trip. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just didn't find the right one. That's going to just make the right one all the more right because you didn't been through all the fuckery with the losers. You feel what I'm saying? I hate my body, my stomach, my face, my thighs, my butt. It makes me feel so depressed to the point where I want to stay in my rooms for days and eat or sleep. I feel so depressed. I I feel so depressed. I got therapy, but it, but I gave up on myself, and I do not know why I do. Why do I keep giving up? I feel weak and selfish. Oh, um, damn, that's a sad one. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, like, I hate my stomach too, y'all. Like, I, I mean, I'm not like, well, I'm not going to say hate it because it's not like a, like a big flaw that just makes me feel like I'm a, um, like, like, I hate this on my body. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to go to that extreme. But, y'all, sometimes I can't stand my stomach. Like, sometimes my stomach will ruin a whole fit, y'all. Like, I be, like, have a whole outfit in my head. Like, oh, I'm about to wear this and I wear that. Let me just be on a day. Let me have drunk too many beers or something the night before. Or let me have some fried chicken before I got dressed or something, y'all. And when I slap that motherfucking outfit on, like, I be so aggravated with myself. Like... And I really can't stand my stomach, but, like, you know, I can't tell you what to be depressed or not to be depressed about, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, damn, sis, like, don't be so hard on yourself. Just work out. I don't know, because some people, like, don't even have the drive to even be working out. So I can't even really tell you what to do, because I'm sure you know what to do. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You know what to do. Like, work out, do this, get surgery, whatever the fuck you want to do, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really tell you what to do about that, but... Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't let it depress you. Don't let it just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, love yourself. I found out my boyfriend cheated, but I didn't trip about it because I'm cheating too. <laughs> Yo, y'all ain't shit. <laughs> Not that I found out he was cheating and I really don't give a fuck because I was doing me the whole time, baby, okay? Damn, sis, fuck it. I mean, hey, I guess, I guess, hey, you know what I'm saying? I guess... I guess you was on a something when you started moving around yourself, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not really like a, a, the cheating type because I feel like what's the point of having like saying somebody's my whole man or my whole boyfriend or whatever the case may be. If we, I'm about to just be out here cheating. Like, I just feel like there's no point. Like, I feel like just feel free to date, feel free to live your life or whatever the fuck the case may be. Ain't nothing wrong to ain't nothing wrong with not wanting a commitment, you know what I'm saying? But when it's at a point where it's like when it's to the point that it's like you all, everybody's all cheating on each other and sliding and no one can trust each other and all that, I kind of feel like, what is the it's point? It's crazy. I stole 5000 from a family that just lost their kid and I regret nothing. Like, that confession actually just pissed me off. You stole thousands from a family that just lost their kid and you regret nothing? <clears throat> Hell's gonna deal with you, buddy. Hell's gonna deal with your ass, okay? I'm in love with, love with my boyfriend and my ex. Do you believe you can be in love with two boys? Hmm. Um, damn. I don't know about, I don't know about saying like in love with two people, but I can definitely see 
someone feeling two people hard as fuck. But I don't know if I would say, like, I believe in being in love exactly with two people, but I could definitely, like, I even been in that situation when I was feeling two motherfuckers so hard, y'all, like, they was neck and neck. When it came to the motherfucking competition, they was neck and neck. But what I say I was in love with either one of them, I probably wouldn't say that because I feel like if you're in love with someone, like, you're so fucking in love with them, it's like, how can you just have all that for someone else, though? I don't know. This one is kind of juicy, y'all. I'm married, but last night I had a dream of my ex-girlfriend. Okay. But I had a dream about my ex-girlfriend, child. What does that mean? Are you missing? Are you mix? Are you missing your ex, babe? Like, is this just like a random, you know, a random night dream that was going on? Like, okay, with that confession. And I wonder what the dream was about, baby. You was a little vague on that one, but I'm wondering what that dream was about, baby. Um, somebody said, I never tipped, I never tipped anyone, and I never will tip anybody. <laughs> well, well, uh, well, I guess you made that clear as goddamn day. <laughs> I ain't never tipping, I ain't never going to, and don't even, don't even look around, don't even look around these motherfucking parts if you want to tip, okay? <laughs> But damn, um, I mean, fuck it. Honestly, though, I'm not gonna even hold you. I just started tipping because I know someone that was that worked at a bar and was like a waitress and stuff that used to always tell me, like, girl, you need to be tipping, like, like, girl, you need to be tipping, like, don't just be, like, you know, paying exact, blah, blah, blah. like, you need to tip because some people live off tips and blah, 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 blah. So, as of recently, I just started tipping. I'm not, a, I'm not a big tipper, though. Like, I'm not a big spender. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I come in a restaurant, they ain't, like, you know, flying to my table because they know I'm about to make it rain or anything. But I just started tipping, so I kind of feel you on it. I want to hit a fake booty so bad. Okay. He said, I wonder what that'd be like. <laughs> I'm lonely, but I'd never accept company. I wouldn't say I'm an introvert. I love my friends and family and being out at times, but I but I just can't accept company. Wow. I don't know. That's not like me, girl, okay? Because I be like that, too. Like, I'm not going to say I'm lonely because it's like if I want to deal with somebody, I can't deal with them. But I, I kind of feel you on being lonely as in, like, you know, you're just lonely on some shit. Like, you know, you're not getting what you're actually looking for. Because it's, it's nothing to just have a body laying next to you or somebody, you know, bending your ass over or whatever the case may be. Or however you like it, bending you over, bending you down, whatever the fuck, putting you in a goddamn pretzel, whatever you, you know what I'm saying? But it is like, you know what I'm saying? When you kind of want that extra, when you kind of want that extra something, something from somebody... And everybody just give you that regular deck look, like, you know what I'm saying? It is kind of lonely, and I kind of feel you with the not wanting company thing at the same time, because it's like, you probably been burnt so many times, you don't even be wanting company, and you don't even feel like it's even gonna do anything for you. Like, what the fuck is the, what is the point of having a motherfucker come over, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel you, girl, just, um, I don't know, just let everything work itself out, girl. Like, I don't even know what to say, because y'all, that sound like me, and I, I don't even know what the fuck to do with myself. I was, I was the kid... That masturbated in class, but I never got caught. I'm not proud of it. But when I was bored, all through my pants, I went. I was confronted once about it, but I never got caught because I never got it out. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what to say about that because um, that sounds kind of like icky. I would not want my kid to be going to school with a kid like that, <laughs> okay? The last confession, y'all. One time in 2011, I smashed my friend's mom and sisters, and I got plenty more confessions, lol. <laughs> okay, all right. 2011 was a lit year for you. Yes, guys, thank you so much for sliding in my DM and supporting my, you know, supporting what I'm trying to do here because I, I wouldn't have this video if you guys didn't slide in my DM and give me all these lit, crazy um, confessions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. Definitely follow me on Instagram, Megan underscore. It's actually in the description box below. So click that link, baby, and I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. You got it, girl. You got it. Life is good. <laughs> yeah.